Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to manage the links in Dropbox.com and how to disable a link that you've created in Dropbox. And here's the situation. Let's say that you have some files in Dropbox. So these three video files are in Dropbox right now and I want to share them with somebody else or I want to share one of the links with somebody else. So what you do is you highlight the file and then you right click on it and one of the options will be copy Dropbox link. So when you do that, you get a little message saying sharing this uh, link to this file, and it's on your clipboard, meaning that if you go to a if you go to a program like Notepad or uh, Facebook or something, and then paste whatever's on your clipboard there. Let's do that. Edit, paste. This is the link. So I've created a link, and I can share it in Facebook. I can email it to somebody. I can do whatever I want with it, but Let's say that I have second thoughts about that. Maybe I chose the wrong uh, file to link to, or maybe it's a really sensitive file. I only wanted to share the link for a little bit, and now I want to get rid of it so no, what, so the link can't be shared with anybody else. And this is how you disable it. So let's go back to the files that we have here. I just created a link from here, but to access the link and disable it, you actually have to go to the Dropbox website. So go to the Dropbox icon, on a Windows PC, it'll be down on the bottom. On the Mac PC, the icon will be at the top. Click on it, and then click on the folder icon here. Launch Dropbox website, choose that. Okay, you'll be shown all of the folders you're working with. On the left side of the screen, you will see something called links. Click on that. And here it is. Here's the one that I just created. And there's several options here. One thing I can do is I can just get rid of it right away just by clicking that, remove shared link. So let's do that. You sure you want to delete the link to that? And yeah, I, I want to delete that link. Okay, but there's something else you can do too. Um, for instance, I have this piece of stock photography that I licensed from Shutterstock. And let's say that I want to, I want to share it, but I just want to limit how long I'm going to share it for. So what I can do is go to the gear icon here shared link options, click on that. So it says, uh, anyone with the link can view this file. There's one person I'm already sharing it with. This is another Dropbox user. And I can either copy the link again if I wanna share it with somebody else, like paste it into an email, but also I can go to link settings. Let's click on that and see what it says. Okay, so a couple of things I can do. One is that I can create a password. Only people with the password can view the link. So what I would do is I'd click that, I'd set the password and then I'd um, tell the person what the password is to access the link. But uh, the other thing that I like to do, and I do this quite a bit actually, is I add an expiry date to the link. Click yes, and then it'll automatically, it'll, it, the default will be, yes, the link expires in 30 days. That means a little less than a month from now, uh, the link will no longer work. You can change it. There's some other options by clicking the uh, drop-down triangle there. Um, you can set a custom date or seven days, and you can play around with that. So let's let's do it expires in seven days, because I know I know my uh, designer will have looked at it by then. And then you click save settings. It's saving. Okay, anyone with the link can view this file for the next seven days, and that's that. To learn more about how to save links, how to collaborate with people using Dropbox, I have a big chapter about that in my book, Dropbox in 30 Minutes. It's available from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.